Good morning, investors. I'm not a financial advisor, but in this video, we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5. That's right. The PlayStation 5 could be having a review of pricing and release date on August 20th at 1 p.m. PDT. So that's during the middle of the trading day. That would be on Thursday, August 20th pretty hyped and excited about that news event why because I'm a big PlayStation 5 fanboy and I haven't gamed in so long that I'm very excited to get my hands on it and this thing is going to be awesome like there's going to be no loading on the PlayStation 5 it's going to be 4k gaming uh, you can't really buy a PlayStation 5 console for I mean you can't really build a computer that has the same hard drive speed as the PlayStation 5 it's a custom hardware that is that does not exist for computer technology yet and I'm very excited for it very very excited can't wait for this PlayStation 5 console but yeah that's just me though um would uh, PlayStation 5 benefit Sony? Probably. It's already moving up. I was actually planning to buy play, uh, Sony stock, you know, uh, some car options like a few days ago. But right now, it's a little scary for my taste. I mean, it's probably going to head up higher until that event comes. And then when that event comes, it's probably going to drop the stock a little bit because, that, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news kind of event. But who knows maybe if they announce a really nice price point the stock will go keep going up AMD will I think will benefit too GameStop it depends on the digital console if they announce a digital console GameStop is probably gonna crash uh, this is my opinion you know a digital console if they do a 299 digital console Oh man, GameStop will crash real hard, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Sundial Growers disappointed today. No, that's just the reality of it. Will big money come in and pump this thing? I think that I think Sundial Growers is probably going to have to do a reverse blip to get out of the uh the hole they dug themselves into. That's my opinion anyways. They just raised, I think, some more money uh, at 55 cents. Uh, I sold out my position at a loss already. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I gambled and I failed. And business is harder than it sounds. I mean, Sundial Grows didn't really capture any market share. Their revenue was relatively flat from quarter over quarter. It's been $20 million for a while. Sundial Grows is probably going to, I don't know, either they're going to delist and go on the OTC or do a reverse split to get themselves out of the $0.54 cents range. The market is red today, but it's not like super red. It's just red. While uh, companies like Intel is slightly green, NVIDIA is slightly green, and Micron is red. Yep, Micron is red. Should have bought put options on Micron. Oh well, that's my that's my fault. Tesla, the EV bubble. Oh, Tesla is actually down a little bit this morning. Well, it was up and then it's pulling back a little bit. Neo, what is Neo doing this? One? Ooh, Neo down thirty-one cents. A uh, Taurus acquisition corp probably. Oh wait, Taurus is up. Wow, sixty cents. Nice. Uh, Arca more. I mean, uh, Electroma up one point five cents. Come on, short sellers, take Arca more. Uh, uh, Electroma down, down, downtown. Want to see this thing below 250 today, please. Please, I'm begging you. Uh, Arkimoto is, uh, it was up this morning, it's pulling back right now. 
Uh, Blink 182. I'm just kidding. Blink charging. Just had earnings yesterday. The stock was up pretty big, and now it's pulling back. Don't know what to say. Uh, I I bet you if I made a video on Blink, just like a dedicated video, it probably wouldn't do too well. I mean, it might do okay because it's in the EV space and all, but you know, the big the big boys would be like Workhorse and Neo. Why? Because they ran from two dollars to fifteen dollars, and there's a lot of people holding their stock, and they want to see the stock keep going up and up and up. Blue sky breakouts. Workhorse this morning up only a penny. DPHC. The I like this company, and any big pullback could be a massive opportunity. Candy, candy. I might do a dedicated video on candy next week. Maybe I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of interest in it. High tide this morning. Neutral. The market today is red. Uh, one thing I, I'm happy is the U.S. and Canadian currency is going back to that 130 mark. I heard that they're creating a new digital currency. The government from Greg Manorino. Let's look at uh, some multi. Oh, let's look at Very. What's Very doing this morning? Very is neutral. Uh, Kira this morning is down one thirteen cents. I bet you True Eve is down too. Oh no, True Eve is up sixty seven cents. Liberal Health Science up the penny. Harvest down a penny. Men, men trading sideways. Uh, what else is there? The I wonder what I answers is doing. It's still not trading. Interesting. Is it trading? Nope, hasn't been, it's been, they announced earnings today. Anthes reports fiscal first quarter report results. Revenue reports 30.4 million gross margin was, they have nice gross margin. Net loss of 237 million dollars. Woo! Woo! That's crazy. Crazy! Uh, yeah, they lost a lot of money. Well, I don't know when they'll start trading again. Uh, what it, what it else is there? Uh, GCI down ten cents. Cresco. Down two cents. Well, it was down more, but it's pulling back up. What's Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin is just kind of trading sideways. And Hive is probably trading sideways. I could be wrong. Oh, up three cents. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.